Accommodation is a change in the optical power of the lens of the eye to maintain a clear image. So when you look at something that's close and something that's far away, you're able to change the focus of your eyes to be able to keep the image in focus when it's up close and when it's far away. And that's the process of accommodation. And it occurs by changing the thickness of the lens of the eye. Okay, so there's two scenarios. Looking at something that's up close and something that's far away. Firstly, we need to draw, draw the eyeballs. It's the eyeball without the lens. And we're going to look at something that's up close. So we're going to look at a flower that's up close. And then we're going to draw another eyeball. And I'm going to look at something that's far away. And we're going to look at a tree that's far away into the distance, okay? So here's the two scenarios. We're looking at an, uh, a flower that's up close, and we're looking at a tree that's a long way away. Let's do the tree first of all. So when we're looking at something that's far away, we say that the light that's going to the eye, the light rays are parallel. So I'm just going to draw a couple of the incident rays, okay? Obviously, we've got light coming from all of the tree, but I'm just going to show you two of them. And so they go to the eye really quite parallel and flat. Now, what we need to do is bend the light so that the focal point is here on the retina, okay, at the back of the eye. So for that to occur, we actually have a thin lens of the eye. The lens of the eye is thin because it doesn't actually need to bend the light too much to go back to this point. So, for distant objects, when we're looking for objects in the distance, the lens is thin. Now, let's have a look at what happens when we're looking at things that are up close. The difference here is that the light rays, I'm gonna put them in the same color as our flower, because the, it's very close, we say that the light rays are actually coming in on a very sharp angle, like this. So the light rays are actually in a very sharp angle. For us to be able to bend the light enough to, uh, to converge onto the retina, we need to actually have a very thick lens. Very thick lens has got a stronger optical power, and that's going to allow the light to converge to the focal point on the retina. So when we're looking at things that are close, we need to have a thick lens. So interestingly, the resting position for the lens is quite thick like this. It's very, very uh, flexible. And so we actually need to use muscles here to pull the lens, pull the ends of the lens, and that makes it thinner. And that is the process of accommodation. Our eye is able to change the thickness of the lens and adjust the optical power of the lens so that we can see things that are in focus, uh, that are distance away, and that are up close. That's accommodation.